they also started to plant some of the ornamental plants that's selling like those one because they heard that a lot of this plant seller are coming here looking for plants whereas they are concentrating on food plant you know what i mean food plant that produces food they didn't realize that the ornamentals are also earning a lot so look they got ampalayas they got string beans and then the behind it are cassava so they are just happy in what they're doing they're earning just enough for them so look at his wife is there um fetching some vegetables so i was so amazed that he got his own water now first time i was here months ago he fetched water like about one kilometer from here in that next mountain up there on the foot of that mountain so i put all the distilled water container of old bee send it over here like 20 so he can have a water container their intercrafting that they do which is also expensive like 600 pesos a kilo is this little chilies i've seen this around everywhere here so they also intercrop this with their this one here sikwa sikwa and then there's chilies and see chilies and what you call it corns and mongo beans so the old sequas are the ones they use for lufa body scrubbers so we are now having our lunch like a picnic that's the lichon belly and we have the native chicken coming and um, we have hanging rice so it's all fun they have takoy the loy old lito and they arlene the old lito's wife and then farmer willie and his wife and his son that lives here so it's fun here in the mountains of sibugay underneath the shed it's raining hard today so we have to be very careful when we go back Hey, Takoy, Magla. you take Oh, so I said we have to be very careful when we walk. No, you will. Kao na no, you will. So we are stuck here in the shed of Farmer Willie because it's raining so hard. So you can see the fog covering the mountains around. Well, you can see the green and then the middle one where he covered his water well. But the flow of the water from the hill is not going to his well because he put a ditch, deep ditch around it, going through down. So that's really amazing because for 30 years, the people around here go to that other mountain that is covered with fog of course on the hill of that one that's where they have wells but farmer willie was able to do his bumbo jumbo one you know where he put uh, matchsticks and cotton balls and then see the movement of the matchsticks to find where is the water going and he did do it do it by his mumbo jumbo and for the first time all the farmers in here, the surroundings cannot believe that he did found water there. So I hope it's gonna start clearing because we have three and a half kilometers to go, going down the hills. I still have to pick up some plants for old bee on the wild that we have seen on the way. So 
the rain has stopped it's just uh, very tiny drizzles what listen to the uh, background they are actually tiny frogs that are very very noisy they are not cows they're the tiny black frogs i don't know what they say what do they call it but it's really noisy whenever um they are around residential places they are usually killed because of their noise but over here they're just propagating so much I can't believe the sound. Oh, I'm G. So they are picking up some of the taro. The wife of Palmer Willie will try to bring it back um, to the hush, the house that uh, they're living on my place, so she can have it for food as well. And also, I was telling the Lloyd to pick up those like ornamental plants there like that's considered as weed over here near the ginger area because it's got some tiny flowers <laughs> so we're actually getting some weed around here that are considered now become ornamental plants but actually they are just weeds for us but now because of this pandemic, some of the weeds are becoming popular. So they're harvesting some taro so the wife of Farmer Willie can bring it with her. <laughs> Pagkuha diya daghan karon og mga matay ba napatay man ayo mabuhi sa gusa. May gamot ana yan dai Arlen. Tanang nay gamot do ha. Dara o kalawman. Tabuan gitani ay ngano. So look at these weeds. They have yellow tops so I told the Lloyd to pick some more weeds there because I could put it on a okay, nice spot. <laughs> I'm asking if the leaves cannot be used. He said, no, it can be used, it can be eaten with. There are a lot of recipes using the leaves of the taro. They're looking at these frogs that are very noisy. It's <laughs> So <laughs> we were picking up some of the weeds here because they look very or um decorative. You know, their tops are yellow. So that will be like um a highlight on a garden. We'll just put it on pot anyway. It's just weeds around here. And we will be picking up more plants. As we go back to the three kilometer walk. <laughs> now we have taro for the recipe of with coconut milk. Benignit in Bisaya. And then we'll be bring get some a few sweet potato and then banana then that's it now look at the the view with a fog rising up these bullfrogs are so noisy
So they're picking up some sweet potato. We're looking around for some rare looking plants that we can pot and propagate ready for my nursery. So we will be on the, on the lookout as we go on from here towards home. God, that was such a heavy rain. But now the sun's back. At least I know that we can go home. look at the view from the top here down there is farmer willie's farm and look all around we're looking at some of the wild plants but like i said 360 degrees mountain view you just turn around and you can see the view this is on Sitio Oghai Barangay Sibugay. What's the name of the Pankwan? Papa Pandal, ha? Look at the fog. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, the view of this place. You know the problem with um farmer really don't have electricity because that place is like in the middle of look surrounded by mountains. No electricity connection. And at night he just have a lamp out of kerosene. But fortunately he managed to find water just using the mumbo jumbo way of finding water. But look at this. Look at, listen to the birds and listen to the bullfrogs. So noisy. That's what you're, oh, I skid. This is what you're going to hear if you live here far away like Farmer Willie. I know a lot of you would love to live like this here. But the only problem although there are a few lots for sale around here is the access is walking or you have a motorbike that will be fine and the one that they're selling is not actually just land use although there are titled ones in certain areas that's not belong to the map of the watershed but this is amazing look at that I wish old B was here with me then he can look at the beauty of this through his new camera this is a favorite picnic area for most of the motorcycle riders Oh my god, that's nature at its best. Wait, it gets so slippery that way. <laughs> I gotta go on the other side. Here where there's loads of grass. Okay. OMG, that is beautiful.